Let's find somewhere to wait. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabar, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Bronya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together, people of the underworld, I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Bronya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Bronya! Lady Bronya! Long live Bellabog! We're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Hmm, I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. 
Allow me to explain. Which means... the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. Worth celebrating, I'd say. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> My scoring criteria are different from yours. Uh, anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Wait, what? No way! We're about to leave and I've hardly got any decent photos. Come on! Let's go back to the administrative district and hang out for a bit longer. Branya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Hmm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Here we are, Everwinter Monument. Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here, too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. Okay, where to next? since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three. Oh, come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Photo. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> Anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? <laughs> Oh, 
There's gotta be a better shot than this one. Um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. Never mind, at least it's memorable. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? <sighs> I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. The thanks, Miss Serval. Big sister, March, Dan Hung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarok. enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. Hmm. We can sleep when we're back on the Express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time? to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy? You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll 